Hey YouTubers, thought I'd do a quick video on uh, my winch setup for this uh, John Deere. This is an LA120, I believe it is, tractor. Um, it's the one I keep up at the cottage and bring it home in the fall and throw the snow blower on it. Um, I do have another one, a 160, that I was going to use this year, and, and it's pretty much brand new, so I thought I'd just keep this little girl uh, working, and uh, she does a great job. But here is the problem. Anybody that has, has these snowblowers knows this cantilever lift and uh, lower mechanism is, is somewhat uh, bulky and cumbersome, and quite often you actually have to get off of the seat to lean forward, and, and when you do that, the safeties kick in, the machine stops. So anyway, I did some uh, looking around on YouTube also, and uh, found some uh, ideas guys had for a bull bar or a winch mount for the tractor, and uh, thought, geez, that's a great idea. The other problem I have with this machine is she's an old girl and burns uh, some oil. You can probably see there's some oil there. So I need to get access in here. I have to be able to get in and get to that oil cap that's down there and check the oil and service it, and I was unable to. And uh, thought, geez, it's pretty impractical to start taking this thing off to check the oil every, every once in a while. So I was moving some stuff around the garage came across my dolly carts here and realized, geez, this thing actually <clears throat> bends forward. Maybe if I take one off, I could use that. And that's exactly what I did. Um, they're fairly strong and most of the force is vertical. So there's really no torquing on, on this. So I thought that'll be a great solution. So what I did is I picked up some flat stock. Let's see if I can get some light down there to show you how I did this. So I just picked up some flat stock, inch and a half flat stock, a three foot piece of this thing was like 14 bucks. Used the, uh, the mounting bracket that was on there as my template, drilled some holes, had an old bed rail, used the bed rail for here, and also used the bed rail behind here, because this is, this is fairly flimsy here. You can't mount, to, you wouldn't be able to mount the, uh, the winch to that and torque it right off. And another piece of flat bar behind it also served as a nice platform for the uh, for the LED lights that I ended up putting on it because the uh, that webbing is right right uh, blocking my lights. And away we went. So the practical part about it is, if I need to service the machine, I can just reach in with my foot, push it down, forward it comes, and now I got lots of space to get in and get to my my engine. When I'm done. I just come back, lock and load, and we're ready to go. A couple of other things I did, I put a, uh, I put a, a strap on the winch instead of uh, uh, the wire rope. I used to have a plow on an ATV and they, those ropes wear out really quick, so the strap I replaced it with it worked great. And uh, that's about it. Did a quick wiring harness. This is all quick release from up front. If I want to take it off, I just take it off and ran it outside the, outside the machine, tucked it back in. This is the winch I picked up. It was like 69 bucks at Canadian Tire. The uh, LED lights I picked up on, I don't know, Amazon. I, I sourced them out of Princess Auto, but they didn't come with the wiring harness, and I uh, wanted the wiring harness with the relays. So this came with the switch wiring harness, and this is how I mounted them. <clears throat> I put the winch here, used an existing hole for the uh, lights. I just uh, had a two-way toggle. It did come with this fancy... Uh, five position LED light and uh, I didn't I didn't need that five pin light I should say for switch and I just wanted a quick off on and there we go it's like deer deer in the headlights and uh, it worked out really well so if you're thinking about doing it there's maybe an idea for you it solves a problem that I had um, it lifts the machine about to this is a 3,000 pound winch but it's really quick and it lifts the machine quickly it gives me about five inches clearance I did leave an extension on here, so this actually acts as a stop for me, right here. So I'm not gonna bring it up any more than that, that's all I need. And uh, like I said, 3,000 pound kind of winch, you can see how fast that uh, <laughs> up and down. Okay, so there's some ideas for you. If you're faced with some challenges, there's only solutions to problems, and uh, sometimes uh, some of the simplest things are the best things. So uh, hope that was helpful and give you some ideas.